And we're back. We're live once again. We're getting very, very little daylight left. I'm gonna put the light on. Very sorry. My, uh, like I said, my neighbor called my phone and, um, and messed up stream. Neighbor. That's all right. He had good intentions. By the way, for those of you that are just coming back, um, let me see here. It's, very, it's, it's an exciting time. Um, if anybody is familiar with YouTube or, uh, you know, been on this platform for a little while now, one of the big milestones for every content creator is that silver play button. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited that uh, I'm not far away from it. I'm not far away. You're going to get to see it, Drake. You're going to get to touch it in your hands, see it in the flesh. When the day comes, silver play button right here down in South Louisiana, my dude. It's happening. It's happening, all right? Nobody else around here. <clears throat> it's going to come. Ninja, do you have a Papa Dough recipe? I do not. Cooper the Great said first. <laughs> there you go, Cooper. You are first. Hey, John here from Alexandria. We were in El Bistro's. Oh, La Bistro's when you guys came in. I'm trying to get a good crawfish etouffee recipe. Mine coming up with something. John, I actually have a crawfish etouffee video. Just type in crawfish etouffee by the Cajun Ninja and it'll come up. It will come up. Let me turn on some light out here. We probably won't be on very much longer. I do need to get some rice cooking. <clears throat> Ooh, see the light. Although, I wonder if, um, I don't know, I mean, should I keep staying live and, and you guys want to see the finished product of the pork chops? I mean, let me know. I mean, that's a long time to be live. It just seems like seems like a long time. I'm, hmm. Oh, here you go, babe. What? Tracy would like to hear your experience seeing Celine Dion. He thought it was me something else. She said, I, want, I would like to hear your wife's experience seeing Celine Dion. Oh, I just don't even know what to say. It was amazing. I cried. I did. Cried. She totally cried. I, I totally cried <laughs> during oh. the concert. <laughs> and every time I watched the video, it was awesome. Well worth the trip and the wait. I don't think you can top that one. It was awesome. It was it was phenomenal. We had a blast. You know what was so cool is that she came to New Orleans just prior. Yeah. You know? And, um... I missed it. And we missed it. Like, I didn't even know that was something Misty wanted to see. And, um... And I didn't find out that she was in New Orleans till like, probably, like, a night or two before her concert. Yeah. So, yeah, didn't even know that that's what Misty wanted. <clears throat> to see Celine Dion. And, dude, on a whim. On a whim. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all can hear me, but I'm not a... <laughs> We're, we're rehydrating over here. We're thirsty. Rehydrating so we can continue to talk to you guys. Oh, gosh. That was amazing. I would go back. <clears throat> here we go. Come sit down. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, we didn't, uh, like, like, dude, on a whim. All right. I don't know if uh, I've, I've, I've told anybody this. Let me see. So, let's see. Tracy, apparently you're someone who's kept up with a lot of platforms, which is really cool. Thank you. Um, whether it was Instagram or Facebook, because um, I don't think I ever posted it here on YouTube. But um, yeah, so Missy's sitting next to me on the couch, okay, and she's like watching something on her phone, and I can hear uh, I can hear a video. I'm your lady, you know, Celine. <laughs> I'm not quite as good, but that was it. And um, and uh, and she's like, oh, I would have loved to see her. I've always wanted to see her since I was a little girl. And I'm like, like looking at my phone. And I'm like, <laughs> you did just that. You you've always wanted to see her. I said, 
All right, well, when she's coming. And she's like, well, she was just here last night. And I was like, you've always wanted to see Celine Dion and you've never told me and she just played in New Orleans last night? And she's like, yeah, but you know. I'm, it was a weekday. Yeah, I didn't think we can go. And I was like, so like, I don't know what came over me. But something came over me like, how dare you? And furthermore, nah, -uh. you know, like I'm gonna make that happen. So I got on my phone, literally next to her. It was like 11:30 at night, and um, looked at my phone, pulled up Celine Dion tour, and saw that she was playing in Dallas. But it was like a Tuesday night. She was playing somewhere else, maybe Tennessee or something like that. Places that weren't too bad. We probably could drive or something. But I was like, I can't make that. So then I looked at uh, I looked at New Jersey because it was a Saturday. <clears throat> you know, I was like, okay, it's a Saturday. Screw it. Bought the tickets right there, boom. Booked the hotel right there, boom. I don't even know what I'm doing with my children. <laughs> you know? At this point, I know I'm taking my wife to see Celine Dion in New Jersey. I'm like, somebody's gonna watch my kids. You know, um, which was kind of like my thought, but I, I really had a moment of like, what if like nobody can watch my kids? You know, then I'm gonna have to cancel all this. So, um, yeah, was able to text her mom and and all, and they were uh, they, they you know reluctantly like we're like yeah we'll take them no problem da da da, and um, and I wound up surprising her you know, um, but it was it was amazing like, it, the cool thing is is that we would have probably seen her in New Orleans right here in our backyard, but because we didn't we got to see a whole new place which was really cool. It was awesome. We ate some really good pizza. We, we dined at some really nice restaurants, which one was Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Um, An Italian place. Yeah, really authentic. Like, so authentic that, like, like the guys were, like, sitting. Like, New Jersey's not far from New York, so they all kind of have the same accent. And, uh, God, uh, what was that guy's name? I think it was, like, Junius or something like that. Or Julius. Like, and, like, there's this, like, this old guy at the, the bar. He's a server. Like, you know, local bars down here, local restaurants, usually a lot of younger people are working the bar. This guy been there for 30 years. Yeah. And, like, some guy, like, comes up at the table. He's like, yo, Julius, you know, you've been here a while, man. You know, I remember I used to come here, like, 25 years ago. You know, like, how long you been here? And he's like, and like it was just, it was really funny to hear, to hear him talk, you know, because I'm so used to our accent that I kind of take for granted how different people can sound or what people think when they come and hear us, you know, so... It was a lot of fun. I, I know that was long-winded, but um, yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. Awesome experience. <clears throat> and Celine was amazing. And she looked amazing. Jealous. Yeah, she, she was in great shape. Hi. She was in phenomenal oh shape. Gosh, phenomenal. <clears throat> and Josh Becker said, just wait for that one million. Whew. I don't think I'll ever hit that here on YouTube. But, uh, you know, who knows? Rogue, yeah, three three K away. You should do an oxtail or a homemade mac and cheese. I have done homemade mac and cheese. Done oxtail. Not that I don't want to, I just haven't. But a lot of people ask for it. A lot of people ask for that. Would like a recipe containing boudin. I need to make boudin. <clears throat> Shelly says your your recipes are so authentic. Thank you, Shelly. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Robert says, I love that spaghetti and meatballs. Look, you know, I may not be Italian. She actually is part Italian. Um, but uh, I know one thing. I love my spaghetti and meatball recipe too. Um, it's unique in its own way. And those meatballs are just mm, tender, soft. Alan, thank you. Awesome video on shrimp. Appreciate it. Hey, Bear. Well, yeah. <laughs> What type of shrimp do you prefer when you're cooking? Uh, sure and simple. I don't really have a preference. You know, um, white shrimp, brown shrimp. Um, people talked about prawns. Look at this dog. She is so spoiled. <laughs> Good Lord. She's loving you right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up from Memphis? I have used the majority of your recipes. Well, thank you, Mac Ware. Mac Ware. That's funny. It's actually a brand called Mickware, which is like a play on the Magnolite brand. 
Have you done hot water cornbread? I have not. I have not. <laughs> hey, Mary said, pop a top, Ninja. I know that sound. Ninja, I'm actually getting ready to cook some pork chops tonight for supper. I was thinking about barbecuing, barbecue baking them in the oven. I'm sure it all sounds like a winner. <laughs> Greetings from Mississippi. Hello. Uh, Alan, we are on number two. Number two. Uh, Tracy says she loves Celine. So happy you got to go. I have always wanted to see her. See, look, if you if that opportunity is there, Tracy, Take it. do it. You know, um, we have no regrets of that trip whatsoever. None. None. Amazing. You know? Cook more regional Cajun Creole dishes. I've never heard of Militons or Papa Dough. All I know is jambalaya and gumbo. Love your attitude. Many thanks. I've been self-isolating since February. Wow, feisty. That's a long time to be self-isolating. Um, we kind of jumped in on that really early March, you know, so I guess we're not far off. You bet, Melody. What is the preferred beer? Uh, right now, we've been big fans of Dos Equis, but... There's really not a preferred beer all the time. You know, we, uh, yeah, we change it up <laughs> often. Like every once in a while, we're like, you know, oh, there we go. every once in a while, we're just like, let's try something new. And then like, we're like, man, this is good. You know, we enjoy that. My 16 year old daughter watches all your videos and cooks everything you make from, I'm from Slidell area, but live in North Mississippi. And my daughter loves the food from my hometown area. I like that soul. That's great. Crystal Owen says, LOL. Rogue Dog says, who that? Uh, and Tracy does follow on Instagram. All right, Tracy. I don't know how far off I am, guys. I wanted to know if you ever heard of Papa Dough. It's a Cajun French toast recipe. Oh, no. Um, yeah, Papa Dough, we ain't there. No, but Mama Bear, I think, is saying that's a recipe. Oh. But I think there's a restaurant called Papa <laughs> Dough's, and that's what I thought you meant. Thank you, Tracy. Jason Brooks loves Gordon Ramsay. Um, how was the Gordon Ramsay experience? Uh, Maisha, it was awesome. The restaurant was great. Um, you know, like as far as how they took care of you yeah, and came to the service. table. Service was above and beyond. The dessert. the dessert was really cool. And the dessert was made of like fig. That's what he said. It's like a fig cake. It was his mom's recipe. But it's his mom's recipe, and it tasted like a chocolate cake. It was amazing. I could have um, eaten. What did you have? You just had a steak. I had a steak, but I mean, I'm a steak lover. Missy loves steak, but I wouldn't say it was her steak was so impressive that it was like above and beyond anything we've ever had. Now, I had the beef wellington, which was very new to me. It's the filet yeah. that's like cooked in the bread, and it was uh, it was really good. I, I, I enjoyed it. So I would say definitely give it a try. Is there any recipe in the works with boudin? Not yet, but I do need to play around with that because a lot of people ask. Did you have a cheesesteak? Mm -hmm. I did not. I did not. I didn't think that, but New Jersey is not far from Philadelphia, so I probably should have. <clears throat> I'm French Canadian and have to say there should almost be a law against your Cajun recipes because they cause such an extreme flavor explosion in my mouth. C'est <laughs> 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 <Saint> très bon. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny, Adam. I uh, appreciate that. That's a, that's a cool compliment. Uh, any plans for a recipe book? Yes. Mm. What's up from Jamaica? Right on Kristen Tong. You know, we got married in Jamaica. Yes. You know, so Jamaica holds a, plus, a special place in our heart. Uh, let's see. Swedish meatballs. Meat sauce spaghetti was awesome. You know, John, it goes hand in hand with the meatball one. I love a meat sauce spaghetti. Yeah, Deb says Papa Do's a seafood restaurant here. I, I'm, it's popular in Texas. Popular in Texas. Yes, LOL. Salute, I, American Mole de France. Uh, Omar Al Omar Salam. I assume you're from France. And uh, hello, welcome to the chat. Greetings from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Just found your channel and made your chicken sauce pecan recipe. It was a huge hit with the family tonight. Thanks and subscribe. Scott, you're the man. Thank you, all right? That's awesome news. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> oh. 
if you do a boudin recipe, you need to get it from Billy's and Opelousas. So I guess what you're saying is, is use somebody else's boudin and make a boudin recipe. Could maybe do that. I could see myself doing that. Um, I'd like to make my own though, if I could. I usually don't quarantine, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. Hi <laughs> <Hey> there. <laughs> Crispy. Wow. Thank you, Crispy. You did not have to do that. But thank you so much. Um, your contribution is is definitely See? Um, humbled and, uh, you know, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you being here, Crispy. <clears throat> Jason Brooks. Yes, I had Gordon's Beef Wellington in Las Vegas. It was wonderful. It's good. It's really good. I'm wondering, it's, it's almost like they cook a steak and put some kind of stuffing on it and then uh, wrap it in, in bread. Crispy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look, Chris, at least say something with your super chat. My gosh. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Crispy. Very appreciate it. <clears throat> Crispy, the least I can do for you. Let's see. <clears throat> How sweet. You have no content, Crispy, but I will be I will be your 13th subscriber. <laughs> there you go. Crispy, the Cajun Ninja is subscribed to you. Thank you very much. Um, crispy, what, what, what are you doing? Go, go, uh, crispy, come on, come on, crispy, say something. Is it if this is if this is an accident? Please retract what you're doing. I hope your kid didn't get a hold of your phone or something. <laughs> um. Louisa Lewis in the house. What's up, Louisa? Long time no see. When the recipe book hits, I'll need a bunch of them. So I do plan to do that one day. Mikey D, pork chops, huh? For sure, yeah. Um, you're coming in a little late. We, uh, we were crushing pork chops earlier over the stove, and now they're just simmering. They're, they're simmering down. Josh Becker says, everyone hit that sub button. Let's get Cajun Ninja to 100,000 subscribers before quarantine is over. <laughs> uh, well, look, Josh, I don't expect anyone to, uh, to do that uh, by any means. Um, you know, I never in my video say, hit the like button and subscribe. You know, I, I don't really do that because I just want it to be an organic follow. And if it's something you love, enjoy, and find value in it, then, you know, hey, by all means. But if not... You know, I never uh, asked for any. Oh my God, crispy, <laughs> crispy, much appreciated. Well, thank you for saying something, crispy. Did you say anything else? Did I miss crispy? Because all I see is much appreciated. But look, crispy, look, much appreciation to you. Thank you so much. By no means do you need to do that anymore. I will answer you. I will find you here in the chat. <laughs> your, uh, your, you being here is very much appreciated, and I'm, I'm happy to be a, a subscriber to your channel. Um, Jason Brooks says, yes, we need to get the Cajun Ninja over 100,000. Share everywhere to get him over it. Uh, look, you guys don't need to do that. Um, it, it's, it's, it's organically getting there, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. And look, I plan to go live the day it goes to 100. Hopefully, I can catch it live when it happens. But um, if not, regardless, I go live. I also plan to unbox the silver play button the day I get it. <clears throat> Greetings, Ninja family from Vermont. Right on. I'm an expat Texan that enjoys your cooking philosophy. Any ideas for a stovetop Cajun style ribeye steak au porver or perhaps a raging cheesesteak? Whew, you got me. Um, I don't have any philosophies on ribeye, but I have done fillets. So if you want to look up fillet by the Cajun Ninja, I've done that. And they come out amazing. I love it. It's a stovetop oven technique that I like to use um, that works really well. So give that a look. <clears throat> I have a deli in a gas station in North Alabama called Po' Boy's Deli. I will sell them there. Oh, Crystal, you talk, I guess you're talking about my cookbook if I do one? I'll definitely uh, throw it down one day. And when I do, I plan to hook up with a lot of different people. Okay, yeah, Crispy's, uh, Crispy's been a lot, I hope Crispy, Crispy, please 
you've done way far than you need to do here in this chat. Um, everyone, as always, as you can see, I'm more than happy to answer you guys, you know, so um, thank you so much. Rogue Dog says, Crispy is putting in for the crawfish boil. Crispy, uh, you know, yeah. It, it, Crispy's in a very given mood. and, and uh, But all you need to, to give here is, 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 you know, a good time, you know. And you don't even have to give that, you know. So, But this is, uh, I'm going to kick it up for Crispy. Me too. Big cheers to, to Crispy uh, and, and, and their kindness and generosity, uh, which will ultimately go towards what we do here, you know. What a lot of people don't know is, um, you know, there's a lot of like behind the scenes to this, um, you know, when it comes to like creating new recipes, um, you know, or even just doing a recipe in general, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm very thankful. Cajun Ninja should be at a million plus. <laughs> I don't know about that, Mikey. Look, I'm humbled to be what I'm at now, uh, especially on YouTube. Um, but... I'm very surprised at how popular it is on Facebook. You know, I think I had just hit a hundred thousand. You know, eight hundred thousand is what my Facebook page is at. It's, it had just hit eight hundred thousand like a week ago, and there's already been like nine thousand new followers since then. For whatever reason, it's blowing up on Facebook. Hey Ninja, been watching some of your vids. Things look great. Keep on keeping on. Thank you, Uncle Steve Shake. Appreciate it. Crystal Owens, yes. I've been looking at your recipes and I'm excited. Cannot wait to try these pork chops. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Cole. Uh, we've made your meatball stew tonight and your crawfish Monica. Right on, Chris. Drake Fields back in the chat. I had a Cajun Ninja cookbook, but I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, listen to you. Uh, Al Wash, toast to Crispy too. Rogue Dog, Ninja, I'm sure you've eaten a, at Mother's in New Orleans. I have not, actually. I've not eaten at Mother's. I've wanted to, though. Who don't love a cool-ass Cajun? <laughs> I agree, right? Who doesn't? <laughs> Melody, I would definitely buy a cookbook. I've made several of your recipes, absolutely amazing and mouthwatering. I'm not allowed in the kitchen right now. Can't wait to make another. <laughs> I understand, Melody. Uh, you know, but look, your health is Rest. what's most important. So, uh, Steve Paya from Northeast Beast eats with Fifi. Says hello, host and chat. Hello, eats with Fifi. How did it feel to be presented by Drake for his school project? It was so awesome. You could, you know, a bear. Look, let me tell you, that's probably one of the most humbling things I've I've experienced in my life. You know, uh, Drake is really cool, dude, and he had the opportunity to showcase and you know put forth the work in a project on anybody famous, dead or alive. And he chose me, and I'm forever grateful. My dude, Drake. You know, uh, that was really cool. And, hey, to my own credit, I was the only famous person that showed up to the, uh, to the, the, the fair. So, you know, uh, hey, you know, I'd like to notch that one up on the wall. <laughs> you know, what's up, Drew Brees? How come you couldn't be? How come you couldn't be there? You know, you couldn't come down and uh, you know hook up, hook it up. You know, so uh, yeah, it was really cool. I, you know, I, I was really grateful for that, and that's uh, that is one of the high points of my life for sure. That and crispy showing up to this chat. <laughs> I was just messing, but no, crispy. Thank you. You don't have, no, nobody else, please. Um, Cole Hammond says your wife is beautiful. You are right. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Is this thing? I feel like the, the it wasn't clear enough, but I think it's probably because it's getting dark. Um, let's see. What's the wildest animal you've eaten before? <laughs> I was gonna say something. <laughs> um, Nutra. 
I, I, me and somebody shot some Nutris and decided to not let them go to waste and made Nutris spaghetti. It was pretty good. <laughs> Drake says, yes, you were. Everyone was jealous. Uh, look, you know, I, it, it, that was so cool, buddy. I, thank you. I'm, I'm thankful, man. Thank you. Road Dog, I think I found the recipe. Okay. Um, Killboy Metalhead, made your chicken sausage gumbo again. Your take on the roux? Um, one to two third ratio was a game changer. It is money. Thank you. I agree. Look, I, uh, when I first started doing this, I was always doing that one and one. And I was like, man, it's a lot of oil, you know, this could be less. And look, this was like me learning from like Emerald Lagasse recipes, other famous chefs. Everybody did the one and one. And I thought it could be done with less. So I tried three fourths cup worked. Still thought it could do less. Thought I'm gonna go all the way down to one half. You can do it, one half oil, one cup flour, but it's tricky. You have to really play around with it because it clumps up a lot before it smooths out. But that two thirds cup ratio is at a perfect number to where it's kind of foolproof. You know, very few people I think would mess up. You have to have your fire really high, but if you keep it low, low medium, two third cup oil, one cup flour, perfect every time. <laughs> What happened? She's attacking me. Other dog. Jason Brooks says, all right, about to go continue this Tiger series <laughs> on Netflix before bed, then work in the hospital in the morning. ICU pharmacist. Well, gosh, hey, my prayers are with you, Jason. Keep the good fight. Um, and thank you for being here. Um, and I'll let you know, uh, Carol Baskin did kill her husband. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I'm just messing around. That's kind of the meme right now with the whole Tiger King. If that's what you're watching. When you said Tiger Series. John Saul says, I miss Louisiana work in Southwest Louisiana for a year before going into the Navy. Since retiring, been enjoying watching your show in South Mississippi. Well, thank you for being here, John. Uh, Northeast Beast says, I watched Bruce the Alligator Man Mitchell do Nutria. Yeah, look, it can be done and it's, it's good. You know, it's a wild piece of meat, but it's good. It's an animal that eats just like a rabbit does. So, you know, hey, why not? Why not eat it? <laughs> Made your pasta lie last weekend. It was amazing. And listening to that Cajun accent makes your videos even better. Bearded Dragon. I always love that name, Bearded Dragon. But look, thank you. You know, um, what's cool is that when I was first starting out in this, people thought I was faking my accent, you know? So to say, to hear, hear people say they love it is really cool. So thank you. Oh, wow. What? Somebody said, I know Joe Exotic. Oh, wow. He's miles from where I live. The dude is crazy. Let me tell you, that guy's nuts. They're all nuts. They probably should all be in jail, to be honest with you. They're all kind of out there. But, um, yeah, that was a crazy show. It sucked us in. Man, the whole thing was wild because, like, at one point you're thinking, oh, wow, poor Carol, you know, she's trying hard to, to prevent this guy from harming animals. Then you think, well, poor Joe, he's just trying to make a living, you know, he's just like any other zoo. And then you think, Holy shit, this lady's this lady's nuts because she has all these people brainwashed into working for her for free. <laughs> and she's making a killing. So, like, I don't know. I mean, the people out there are wild, man. Sounds like it was pouring rain like here in Houston. Love the vids. Keep them coming. Thank you. Scuba eyes. It wasn't really pouring, but um, it was raining for sure. Love cooking my roux in a black pot in the oven. Takes longer, two hours, but I only stir it every 30 minutes. I've heard this way, method of doing it, and uh, I, I'm not against it. But um, it probably takes away from the, the, what I do here on my channel, which is, you know, on the stove, crushing it. So, yeah. No way. Bearded Dragon says, oh, you can tell when someone fakes a Cajun accent. Yeah, look, I mean, that is definitely, um, you know, something that, that has been done, uh, you know, uh, um, a la the water boy, <laughs> you know, but uh, what the? Crispy. Crispy. I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> crispy, crispy, come on. 
You can retract that. Come on, Crispy. I don't need I don't even I don't even know what to say. You know, like Uh, you know, it, if you if you follow me on Facebook, at least send me a message on Facebook so I can like send you some merch or something. All right, because like this is over the top. You don't have to do that by any means. I don't even know what to say, Crispy. Look, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. Please do not hit that super chat button again. That's that's. Ridiculous. Uh, and if you can retract it right now, please do so. Because, I mean, everything right here for everybody else in this chat is, is the same for you. You don't have to do that. And, you know, just know that. Okay? Know this. All right? Gosh. <laughs> I think everybody's kind of shocked by Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Drake says, don't cry, guys. <laughs> Look, I mean, you know, Drake, I, I, I guess if I, meant, I am to put it into words, you know, like, for anyone to do that, you know, means they really, really enjoy what you do, you know, and, uh, and that means a lot to me, you know. Um, I put a lot of work into this. And Drake, you know that, my man, you know, because uh, uh, we, we've, we've been side by side before, and you know how much work goes into this. Um, so yeah, I put, I put a lot into it and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for that. I really am. You know, it's, it's, it's truly an honor, but I, I would hope that by any means before anybody ever hit the super chat button, they would th roll through their head, all the things that could be worth paying for over doing this, because you could easily type some of this chat and I'm going to answer it. You know, I will, I'll try, you know, if it gets beyond me, but, um, Henry Ford, <laughs> Look, Henry Ford, <laughs> the original Henry Ford. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Thank you so much. And like I, I'll say to you guys, you don't have to, but what's the difference between Cajun and French? <clears throat> I don't know if you mean like Cajun French and regular French, um, but if that's the case, like pretty much Cajun French derives from French, um, but it's it has its own unique accent and, and even some words that uh, you probably wouldn't necessarily find in French. I would say the best way to answer that is to think of like a place like New York, you know, and where you have like the Staten Island people, the Brooklyn people, you know, the New York City people. Everybody has their own way of talking, how they interpret things, you know. It's kind of like that with Cajun French and French. Drake says, yes, I do. Cajun Ninja, I done made the gumbo, the sketty sauce, the hamburger steaks, the smothered pork chops, and your recipes are great. All the folks that ate that, all the folks that ate have returned for seconds. Or another night of good food. Well, bravo, Dustin Johnson. You the man. That is solid. Mama Bear says Cajun Payne Purdue. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> uh, Tracy says you are awesome. You are very humble. Cajuns are awesome. I love my Cajun guy. Yeah, Tracy. Um, I'm so big on humility, man. Like, <clears throat> I just, uh, I don't know. I just, I just feel like we're all on the same stage, you know, and um. A lot of one's greatness comes from learning from somebody else, you know? So anybody you can think of who is in the limelight right now, they learned from somebody else and was able to hone in on that craft and get really good at it, you know? Of course, we're all blessed with our own unique gifts, but it takes seeing somebody else to realize what you're good at, you know? So all I can be is humble, you know, and grateful. <clears throat> <laughs> Mama Bear says, Crispy, if someone is holding you against your will, your will. then <laughs> wink. <laughs> then <laughs> wink. 
Yes, my gosh, Crispy. Please, you know, feel free to ask any question you want in this chat, you know. I'll answer you. Jason R says, just finished the rest of the shrimp etouffee I made last night and thinking about making it again tomorrow. <laughs> wow. You know what's crazy is my wife is not a leftovers person. Like, she does not like to eat leftovers. Like, we'll cook something and she'll eat it. Like, tonight she's going to eat these pork chops and be like, mmm, yum, great. Tomorrow for lunch, she's like, what we eating? I'm like, well, we got some pork chops in the fridge. She's like, mmm. Uh. Like, it's the worst thing I've ever made the next day. The day I make it fresh, it's amazing. The next day, you swear I'm the worst cook in the world. <laughs> now, with that being said, if I make a homemade chili, she'll eat that meal after meal after meal i don't know what it is about chili i'm not even that big of a fan of my own chili but my wife will eat chili day after day you know it's the only thing she'll eat over and over again okay henry ford was like i was actually talking at um ethnic cajuns in ethnic french <clears throat> okay so I would think an ethnic Cajun is down here. But now look, there's, there's variations of what people will consider what's truly Cajun. Like if you want to get deep on it, like there are people that, that are down here that'll have a very flat accent. Like they, they talk a lot more like this right here, you know. And if you want to eat some gumbo, you can go ahead and cook you some rice. You got to make that roux. You know, they talk very flat like this. That's more uh, authentic uh, in that Cajun realm than probably more than what, the way I speak, which I'm kind of, look, I'm in the middle of it. I live down here, but um, New Orleans is what, is, is what I like to consider the Cajun New Yorker. And around from where I'm from, we have a mix of, of, that, of that accent, the, the Cajun New Yorker and then like the, the flat talking accent, which Misty has more of than I do. Um, and I, you know, I, I'll blend it. Sometimes I'll, I'll have the, you know, I'll talk, you know, a little bit, a little bit flat. And then sometimes I'm a little like, you know, from New Orleans, you know? And so that, that's kind of what my accent is. It's a blend. I, I love it. I love the way I speak. I don't know. I just, I, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy with it. You know, I don't, uh, but you know, French is going to be more, we, you know, as a French uh, speaking uh, voice, you know, they, you know, they have more of that. So. <laughs> the dog is so, this dog, it requires so much attention. So, you know, that's kind of like my, I guess that would be my, my definition. Look, you look, want to dive more into it, maybe Google and hit up more pages that are Louisiana influenced. French is a <laughs> load of butter. Possibly. <laughs> Let's go check on the pork chops. Yes. We check on the pork chops. You know what? I need to get some rice cooking too. So we're going to go back go to inside. We're going back to the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen, because we need to cook some rice. And um, the pork chops are probably getting nice and tender. I'm going to set up again. We're back over to our prepping area. Just do it. See this pork chops. Oh, let me see how I can do this without... It's going to be that way. All right, it's going to be like this. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to make you nauseous. Here we are. Here we go. Godspeed to Bobby's daddy. Ben Ponaby. Not sure what that means. All right. So we're going to get some rice cooking here. This is my little rice pot, I like. This is my rice, I am in this bucket. So what I do here with the rice is I do a one, two ratio. If you've not seen, if you have seen my perfect rice video, it's a one-two ratio. 
Melody Sharon, come on, Melody. I see you down here like I'm like this. <laughs> Melody, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, Melody. Look, honestly, I know you're going through COVID-19, so if you can retract that, please feel free to do so. You don't have to do that. Um, you know, I'm thankful to have you here so much. All right, here we go. So rice in my family we don't need a lot of rice um because we got a lot of little ones so all i'm gonna do here is um is one cup and a half cup so in my perfect rice video you've seen you see me do one cup the one cup ratio which is for every cup is two cups of water. So in this case, there'll be three cups of water because I'm gonna do two cups of water for the one cup of rice I put in, and then I'm gonna do another cup for the half cup of rice, which would be two of these. Two half cups is obviously one cup. So I'm gonna do three cups of water, which will equal out to the same ratio as a one cup of rice, two cups of water ratio. Um, so I'm gonna go take care of that real quick. So now we're gonna get this cooking to a high heat. I got an onion right here. Turn that fire on. Perfect. So look, what I like to do is I like to get this to a uh, to almost a slight boil, and then I'll add some 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 salt, just a little bit of salt, just to kind of give the rice some uh, flavor. Let me see if I missed any chat here. Louisa says, those pork chops are going to be fire right on. Uh, Melody says, I wish I could donate more. Melody, please, you don't have to donate anything. You've inspired me to want to cook. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your amazing videos. Look, Melody, thank you for being here. And by all means, please get better. Uh, Dustin Johnson says, them folks always eat out are struggling. Oh, man. So I guess Dustin retracted his message. Um, Jim, I used to born and raises in St. Charles and now live in Austin, Texas. Hey, right on, Mr. Crawfish. Mama Bear says, loving the sounds in the background. You probably hear all my little girl stuff. So let's take a little look at this right here. Probably, uh, ooh, this is kind of hot. Ooh, that looks good. Oh my gosh. Oh man, look at this gravy, guys. Hey, kid. These pork chops. Look at Tenet. It says, like, that just broke apart right there. Let's see if I can show you guys. Look at that. Tender pork chop right there. Mmm. Ooh. Tender. So, as you can see, like, and so look, it looks very thin right here, but I'm telling you, when it cools, that's a that's a good gravy right there. It's a very good gravy. I think I might take a little taste of this gravy actually. I'm gonna flip this pork chop here. Hope it. Oh. oh man, that looks so good. My gosh, this looks good. Are you guys seeing how good this looks? Do I need to move the camera a little bit? There we go. I don't know if you guys want to see the rice, but man, those pork chops look good. That looks really good. I taste the gravy. Get a little swig of this. Oh. A little hot, so. 
I'm gonna burn my face off. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's so good. It's got this like, like salty, buttery, little bit of a kick flavor. Mmm. Oh man, it's very savory. Very savory. Ooh, that's gonna be good. My goodness. Cannot wait to eat. We're eating late, as you can see. And look, so no, just so you guys know, so you're watching this, okay? Here's a little tip. If you're cooking something like this and you, you think it's too thin for you, you know, like you think your gravy is too thin. You know, it looks thin right here, but because it's very hot, it will be kind of thin, but it, this will thicken up. I mean, that is a fact, Jack, I promise you, this will thicken up. But I'm gonna tell you, if you want it to get thicker, you can, when it gets to this point right here, you can just leave the lid off and you see how that steam that's coming up? That's going to evaporate the water that's in here, which will ultimately thicken this gravy because there is some flour in there and this gravy will thicken, so. Oh man, it is, it is good like this right here. I'll tell you that much. My phone is actually on low battery, so thankfully I have a charger right here. Plug it in <clears throat> and we will be charged so we don't lose you guys. Let's go ahead and plug it in right there. Boom, okay. Let me see if I can read some of you guys. It's so funny because you guys wanna see something funny? This is me right here, trying to look at y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, oh gosh, I can't see. Uh, oh, Melanie's talking to Misty. My family absolutely loves your hamburger steaks and cannot make it enough for them. I cannot make it enough for them. They, they had their choice. I would make it every other day. Well, look, bravo to you, S. Love. That means you're crushing it. Katie says, we're so thankful for y'all. We moved to Colorado a couple years ago, and this has been so amazing. We had to learn to cook our own Louisiana food. Well, look, I'm glad. I'm happy to be here for you. Chris says, what brand style pot is that? Nice size and depth. This is actually a Keflon uh, pan. Oh, man, my uh, rice is beginning to boil here, as you guys can see. So um, let me take care of that real quick. So when your rice is boiling like this, you want to add a little bit of salt, mm, boom, and then you want to cover it up, put that to a low simmering heat, and we will let that cook for 25 minutes. Bam, perfect. All right. Here we go, let's see, uh, I think somebody asked me something and I let them, oh yeah, so it is a cap line. yeah, you can, uh, um, you can get it on my Amazon Influencer page, which, uh, Misty, if you're watching this, you can type it in. It is amazon.com slash shop slash the Cajun Ninja. I have cooked the pork chops several times and we love we cook your gumbo on a regular basis and we love it. Great job. I look forward to all your recipes. Thank you, Alicia West. Uh, Donna says, no problem, dog. <laughs> Joe says, hey, brother, checking in from Dusan and loving the food. Good vibes and information that you put on the channel. We love to meet up with you and learn in person. Go Tigers. Yeah, look, that would be solid. You know, definitely uh, one day I'll, uh, I'll be able to meet more and more people. I got some friends in Pine Island and Turkey Creek and Dunn told them all I'll wait and Dunn told them I'll help sneak them across the state line to East Texas and hang with me sometime outside the lockdown. All right. Get you some Tony's and Louisiana hot sauce and you are set. Hey, you know what, Rogue Dog? This right here has some paya seasoning on its way soon to be available for everyone. Paya Cajun seasoning. That's not, not yet, but soon to be. 
Here's a sneak peek of prototype right here before you arise. Ladies and gentlemen, a little paya. Cajun Ninja official seasoning. <clears throat> Right on, Crispy. It's nice to see you chiming in other than, other than a super chat. Thank you, Crispy. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Morgan City. Um, let's see. We are actually eating your recipe for boiled crawfish now. We're looking in by you. Shocked, I guess. I missed that. Uh, I'm about to get my laptop, guys, so that way I can read this a little better. <clears throat> Okay. Watching your videos has made me want to be a cook. I bought some hamburger and pork chops so I could try to make your smothered hamburger and pork chop recipe. Well, thank you, Michelle. Appreciate you. <laughs> Dustin says, I need a box of paya. If there's anything like your recipes, it'd be great. Well, thank you. I've been working hard on it. Look, let me tell you. You want to know how hard I've been working on this? These are different blends of me trying, you know, what, what I would like best. And right now, the one in here is the one that I'm most happy with, you know? I'm... Uh, Smells really good. I love the color of it. It's got good flavor, good spice. Seems to be holding it down good. So hopefully that's the one and I'll get it done. We'll see. Let me get this back up right again. What? Huh? What do you say? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Look at Drake. Paya! <laughs> Those pork chops are looking good. Thank you, Mikey. I don't know if you did it right, babe, but it looks like you might have a space between uh, the slash and the chop. That's all right, Oh, maybe you should do it right. Okay, well, either way, that's the link for um, for anyone who wants to keep up with the cookware I use. Like, if you just want to, like, look at it and just go see, you don't have to go buy anything, but a lot of people want to know what it is I'm using, and that link is really cool because it, it, like, it, you know, I link up everything that I use. So, let's see. My team is playing some Parisian music in the background to try and take me away from the love feed. The love feed, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Road dogs that uh, seat everyone 10 feet away from each other. That's not normal in Louisiana. Let me tell you, Louisiana is struggling on social distancing right now. They, they're having a very hard time. Look at these pork chops. Look at this. This is just breaking apart. Oh, my gosh. It's, did y'all see that? That just broke apart right before your eyes. I mean, literally. This gravy's good, though, yeah. Look at this gravy. That is, dude, that, that is money. That is a great gravy right there. We cannot wait to eat. It's going to be very good. Cooking it down, ladies and gentlemen. I will definitely make a plate. Hopefully, I, I mean, I, look, everybody who has stuck around, my gosh, thank you all so much. I can't believe uh, this was literally on a whim. My wife will tell you that I didn't even tell her I was going live. I just put the camera up and said, what's up? <laughs> and I uh, decided to cook live. I've never done this. I've never cooked a uh, dinner live. Um, you know, so this is really cool. Um, this is one of the most popular ones that I do. So, yeah, this is neat.
Katie says, I'm so glad I caught it live. Ken Petty, I just made that pot roast. Damn boy, Cajun Ninja. Pot, yeah. pot roast on quarantine Saturday. Keep doing your thing. <laughs> Thank you. But my wife even says paya. Louisa says paya. <laughs> paya all up in the chat. And I'm so shocked that people still love that because, like, I honestly thought at some point people were going to like, all right, dude, that's enough. <laughs> but they still love it, so it's cool. <laughs> my wife is loving this, which is wild because um, cooking, doing cooking videos can be very stressful. But this is probably cooler to her because, like, there's no, like, hey, quiet on the set, <laughs> you know? Uh, Mike says, shoot, I'm hungry. Chris said, I made your burrito recipe, but instead of baking them, I fried them like a chimichanga. It was awesome. Holy cow, Chris. That sounds amazing, man. How did you fry them? Did you pan like fry them? Like a little bit of oil and then flip them? I guess you couldn't deep fry a burrito. You'd have to kind of pan fry it, right? <clears throat> yeah, Missy. Missy says, so stressful, but this one is actually fun. Big boy, it's pretty cool watching you cook live. Thank you, big boy. <laughs> yeah, it's less stressful for you, that's for sure. My wife's on the patio, I'm in the kitchen. Chris, she's not cooking. I don't know what that means. Drake said he's wondering where you went. Yeah, she's being lazy. <laughs> Miss Ninja, since you're a hairstylist, are your mugs coming back? <laughs> they really are, <laughs> Sean. That's like a big thing now, surprisingly. Lloyd, it's not time to eat yet. We're still cooking rice. We're about to actually cook up some corn. Um, deep fried. Deep fried. Wow, how did you pull that off without it breaking apart? Cayenne pepper plus the Cajun Trinity and a little whiskey are a far more potent antiviral bacteria strategy than social distancing. This is why Cajuns have survived centuries. By, uh, <laughs> Mateo has an interesting take. Uh, Cherry Bomb, home native in India, Indiana, I'm sorry, did my take on your shrimp etouffee and shared it on Instagram. Needless to say... I lost my thought here. Needless to say, quite a few Indiana folk are enjoying some good Cajun food now. Nah, cherry Bomb, bravo to you. That's awesome. <clears throat> uh, Deshaun Gabriel, I'm currently making your red beans on the stove recipe. So excited to try. It's almost done. It's two hours simmer. Oh, right on. Look, but if we're still live, please let me know how they came out. Our people want to eat and share every blessing God gives up, but Mama and Papa matter more this year than Easter boil. Mama Bear, you are right. I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Everybody is a tough guy until they lose a parent or grandparent, you know, and if they had the uh, option to stay home for us because we would be the ones vulnerable, you know, then um, they would do it. You know, mamas and papas would be like, I ain't going anywhere if it saves my grandchildren. So, um, yeah, let's do the same. Shout out OKC405. All right, Nate, OKC405, I shout you out. Have you ever tried Panola Gourmet Cooking Sauce? I have not. I have not. Bonita. Ben, that would be Horace Trahan. Big Booty Judy is horse trauma, man. 
Horace Trong is in every one of my my videos. Like, and I and I always give him credit in the uh, YouTube uh, description. I give him credit on Facebook. Horace Strong is the man. And when I first started this, he was one of the few that I reached out to and asked if I could use his music. And he said, no problem. Go ahead, use my music. Um, you have my word. And I was like, right on. So I've been very loyal to him. You know, some people might think I, I'm biased or I just don't want to use anybody else's. And that's not really the case. There's a lot of great musicians out there. I've just been loyal to using Horace Strong because he was, uh, he was willing to, uh, to, to let me use his stuff, you know. Embarrassed function. May shout out from Denver by way of Delcom, Louisiana. Hey, well, right on. Amber said, you have taught me so much in cooking. Every time I cook, I come to your page for help every time. Now I'm a pie professional. Love you cooking. <laughs> That's solid, Amber. You know, it's funny. I actually made a shirt on Teespring that says, cook like a pro. P-R-E-A-U-X. And right under pro, it says, it says, what's the P connects pro and pie so that's a really cool shirt I have that if, uh, if you ever want to check it out, um, I think I might have put that link earlier. If anybody wants to check out my Teespring store, you're more than willing to go check it out. But do not feel like you need to buy anything. Um, you know, I don't, I don't ever want people to think they have to buy anything from me. You know, I'm, I've been doing everything here for free since, uh, since day one. And that's something I will continue to do as long as the, the whole social media platforms exist. But this is my Teespring store, um, and I do have a code, Ninja10 is the code uh, to get a discount. So, yeah, Ben says it sticks in your head. Yeah, you're right. It does. That's why I like it. I like all his music. My favorite one is HDTV, the, the one I use in a lot of where it says HDTV. Don't mean that much to me, cause I got higher definition in my reality. I love that line. It's just so, it just sticks to me. It speaks to my soul. You know, I don't need an HD TV because I got high definition in my reality. You know, so good. We cooking it up. Ladies and gentlemen, about to get some corn going here. Let me get another pot up. Bam, not a Le Creuset, right here. And if you don't already know, when I cook corn, I don't ever buy, you guys can hear me. Oh, yes. oh wait a minute. My wife comes in there doing the corn and she made corn in the car. Oh, dang. I might not be cooking corn. Oh, I am cooking corn. Woo! There we go. Right, Whenever I cook corn, I always get the frozen corn, as you can see here. I love the frozen corn. I find it's a lot, it has more of a fresh taste. I do like this brand here, Pick Sweet Farms. It's real fresh. Real fresh, and it's so easy, man. Frozen corn is so easy to make. I mean, I know people like that corn in the cob, but this is just as easy. So you literally fill up enough water to cover it, like so, you know? Turn on your heat to a high setting. And uh, once it comes to a good boil, you can just drain it from there, you know, strain it, put the corn back in the pot with some butter, salt, and pepper, and bam, you got fresh corn. Really good. All right, let's see here. I'm not embarrassed to show your cooking videos to my friends that want to learn Cajun cooking, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I hope, I hope I'm not embarrassing to you. Um, let's see. As long as these sockele keep biting for me in East Texas, I'm gonna be all right. During this craziness, I'm stacking them slabs every day almost. I'm solid. <laughs> I, did, you were shocked? Or you were like, I see you put we have corn. I know we have corn. 
I know, but when you remember earlier you said we, like, uh, we have corn. I thought, I thought you, well, earlier you were talking about the corns on the cob, I think. No. And I was like, oh, man. <clears throat> How sweet is their corn? Oh, I don't find it sweet. <clears throat> Not too, not super sweet. I mean, it's perfect. It's got a good amount of sweet, but you add some salt in there. That blend of salt and sweet is always a winning combination. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Nate Griffin, love you, Cajun style, brother. Your smother pork chop video I watched over and over. Much love. My Trinity game is on point because of your videos. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate you being here. Crispy, oh my gosh, I know you did. I know you didn't, Crispy. I know you did it. I know you didn't. I, I know you did not. No, you did not. Crispy. That is, that is, no. No. <laughs> take, take that back. Can you take that back? Come on, Crispy. Did you see that? Yes. Crispy. Crispy. I don't even know. I don't even know how to respond to this. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know if I should be telling you, like, I don't know if I should be really harping on you right now because that's, that's insane. Like, I mean, like, I, I just feel like right now there's got to be so much greater things right now you could be paying. I, all I can hope for is that maybe you are somebody who is just, very blessed and and you decide to throw it here but even still I, I don't I don't know if like I'm I don't know if I'm, I can say that my channel's worthy of this <sighs> look um thank you I mean I appreciate it I really do but man I know you probably can hear the background of my, 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 my wife's got the volume on her phone, but gosh, I don't even, I don't know what to say, but thank you, but please, good Lord. Oh my gosh. I'm speechless. Look, you don't, it's very hard to stop me from talking. Like I'm not that guy, but, um, cool, you know, cool. Um, all, all I can think of is if there's no way to get you to retract this, I'm going to have to find a way to, to definitely um, reciprocate this to, to somebody else. You know, um, I believe in spreading it, you know, paying it forward. So, but thank you. <laughs> Gosh, man, you don't have to do that, Crispy. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm going to put you guys back in the pork chops, but Crispy, please. You're going to give me a heart attack. <sighs> Good Lord. Let me get back to this chat. Okay. Good Lord. Crispy, for whatever reason, you need to get this back. Please let me know because I'm going to go through whatever I have to go through YouTube or what have you to give you this back. Yeah, huh. JJ Walker, thank you. Yeah, T. Roy Cooks is awesome, man. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I think that's really cool. Rogue Dog says, I just found your channel, but I'm hooked. Thank you, Rogue Dog. Um, Mama Bear says, seeing I have to leave your feed. My kids are losing it right now. I've been away too long. I can't cook pork in my house. Anyway, this was awesome distraction from my lockdown. Thank you. Love you guys. Well, thank you, Mama Bear. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> Crispy, if that was an accident. Oh, my God. Look, Crispy, I will gladly send you a shirt, spatulas, look. Please hit me, hit me up on um, whether that's Instagram or Facebook. Send me a message. I will gladly, glad the least I can do. Gosh, you tell me what you need. Ben says I've seen tipping like that to guys playing video games, and they do much less than you seeing. 
Hey, look, kudos to them. You know, like I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how they can feel about it. Like me personally, I'm a. Uh, I, I was willing to go live like this and just and just have a good time with you guys. I, you know, no expectations. Um, Fat Hut Doors says, praise God, always, man, for sure. You know, look, if there's anything I can tell you guys, yeah, always be thankful. Like, I'm thankful for you guys being here regardless of any super chats. Crispy is over the top, but I'm thankful. <laughs> Nate says, casinos are closed, why not? Uh, uh, well, look, Chris B., you're very kind. That's very kind of you. Please don't forget to shoot me a message in my inbox um, and let me know. I imagine uh, whoever you message as on Facebook or Instagram probably won't say crispy, uh, but let me know that it's you. Um, and um, I wonder if there's a way I can... You know what I can do? I can I can give you this status. <laughs> That's probably the best thing I can do is uh, on, on here. I can't message you, but you you are now officially a moderator. You have at least earned that. Gosh, man. <clears throat> Michelle says you're worthy. You give so much happiness and enjoyment to all of us all the time. Even if we weren't on lockdown and we wouldn't be here. If we didn't believe you deserve this and so much more, well, thank you, Michelle. That's very kind of you. I'm very, very thankful for that. You can buy a lot of bamboo with that. Yeah, no doubt. This is awesome. Thanks for the live feed with that, with what the world is going through. We need this pleasant distraction. Well, I'm, I'm happy to do it, CJ. Just Angel says, I'm so crying over here. Dude, my wife's teary-eyed, too. Like, she, like, you kind of, uh, she had to walk outside, you know? Even with our country at a standstill, blessing is still coming through. Uh, man, no doubt. Shout out to all those people holding down around the world. You're right, Mama Bear. They, they definitely need our prayers more than ever. Nothing like supporting a small local business. This is true, Josh. If there's anything I can say, I'm not a big box store. So uh, Crispy is supporting somebody who's small, local, and uh, working hard to uh, better themselves every day. Melody says, yes, you are definitely worthy and have the best YouTube channel by far. Well, I don't know about that, Melody. You're very kind to say that. That's, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of great creators. I understand feeling uncomfortable, man, but I know how I feel when... I can give a server a nice tip. If anything like me, Crispy's feeling joy that they can spread so much joy to you and your followers. <clears throat> you know, that's a really cool way of putting it, Don. I, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I don't just, that's the only word I can really say. I'm just humbled. <laughs> Road Dog says, my, my stomach is growling now. Thanks, Ninja. Uh, Christine says, do you ship your merch to Jamaica? Well, the cool thing with Teespring um, is I'm pretty sure they can ship anywhere in the world. And that's where my merch is under, uh, is under Teespring. My rice is now done. I need to um, remove it from the heat and then let it sit for a few minutes, which I will do. Right here. And I'll actually move this pot over here because that's a, a larger burner. It will get boiling a lot faster. This is kind of a simmer burnt burner. That one's larger, so we'll get boiling a lot faster. All right, man, man crispy. I don't even know what to say. Come here. Oh my goodness. My <clears throat> All right. Get our corn heated up. <laughs> Soul said, uh, do a uh, second channel doing star <laughs> car stereo installs. <laughs> Apparently, they, I guess I guess car stereo installs are popular. You tell me. Hey, there you go, Crispy. What are the 
Oz, you can make me a batch of gumbo and ship it to me frozen in dry ice. Never had authentic Cajun. Good. Popeyes is the closest thing I've tried. I wouldn't really even say Popeyes is authentic Cajun. You know, um, like I know they got their Cajun Creole spices in their chicken and they got red beans and what have you, but um, I honestly think the red beans I make are, uh, uh, you know, miles above Popeye's red beans. And I'm not trying to be cocky or overconfident in any way, but they make a red bean that's, that's <clears throat> I guess, a standard that everybody can enjoy, you know. And, uh, you know, I like to set mine a little over the top. But um, I don't think there's a way for me to freeze gumbo and send it to you. Um, at least I don't know without all the stipulations that I would have to go through in order to be able to do that. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and remove these corn. We're going to remove this corn. First we turn it off because it's boiling. And we're gonna take it. All right. <clears throat> You guys can even see that. Let me see if I can move this up a little bit. Bam. Uh, not much. <clears throat> okay, so we strained our corn. Um, this pot, this pot is really hot, so it's a good time to add butter. All right. Probably have two tablespoons of butter right there. One and a half, maybe. And from there, we add our corn back in. It'll melt in there. We add a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to our corn. Not much. A little salt. <clears throat> and pepper. Dude, no lie. Salt and pepper. Let me tell you guys, if you can't ever get your hands on any seasons whatsoever, Salt and pepper is it. Like a lot of people know this, but <clears throat> classic Cajun dishes that grandmothers made, that's all they really had, salt and pepper. And, and they got it done, you know, like there was no, uh, like nobody going, oh man, this could use some cayenne or some garlic powder or chili powder or anything like that. You know, they used salt and pepper and they won over a lot of people. And that's why it's so crazy because a lot of people like are like, man, nobody can make it like my grandma did. And um, and what's funny is is that she probably just had salt and pepper, because what most people don't realize is is that salt is the flavor, even with like a good Cajun or Creole seasoning, the backbone of the flavor in it is salt. It's not going to be garlic powder, chili powder, cayenne pepper, you know. You know, a lot of those bring spices. I mean, garlic garlic powder brings a little bit of a unique flavor to things, but salt is it. Salt is what flavors food. So that's it. You got your frozen corn right here. Ooh, I can't pick that up. <clears throat> I'll show you guys. If you want to take a look. Bam. Oh, fresh corn. Bye, yeah. All right, cool story about this uh, spoon right here. This is the original um, original uh, idea of the paya spoon. My mom, my, not my mom, my wife had this made for me um, as a present when I first got popular on uh, social media. She had that made for me. <clears throat> so shout out to my wife. All right. So now we did that. Um, we are almost done here. Um, See if you guys will chime in. Try to clear my throat. Okay, 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 okay. Put this right here. This is my rice. So take a look, rice, bang, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, the corn looks yummy. 
fresh rice right there. That's it. That's all it takes to make good rice. That one to two ratio. Leave that uncovered for a little bit so some of this water will evaporate. <clears throat> Perfect consistency for me. Put that right there. So here we are. We got rice. We got corn. We got our pork chops. I'm going to turn this off because it's very hot. Ooh, how good that is. Ooh. Oh, man. That is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> now look, it's kind of a thin gravy right now, and I've told y'all this, um, but it will thicken up, man. Like the reason why I like it like this is because when you go to pick this up, you know, put it in the fridge, it'll be it'll be a lot thicker when it cools the next day, um, what have you. But as you can see, all this evaporating of water here, you know, that that'll ultimately thick it up as well. So we're gonna serve up my kids' plates. That's what we usually do. We try to make their little plates. Look how good that gravy looks, huh? Yes, indeed. Oh, my gosh. Got here. Bam. <clears throat> and uh, my wife is going to go ahead and fix her plates. And I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the chat. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Who did I miss? Popeyes was good when Al Copeland still owned it. Now they're based in Atlanta. You know what's crazy, Soul? I really do wonder if when it was turned over like that, the recipe for the onion rings wasn't given to them because something about the onion rings has changed. It is not the same whatsoever. And... Um, you know, I, I, I miss those old onions. I really do. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find my wife. Maybe you got to eat more than that. Huh? This is a good spoon to get the gravy. Um, <clears throat> Me and my husband sing the HTV song when we cook one of your dishes. Right on, Katie. Thank you again, Crispy. Appreciate you being here. Anyone ever cook with infused oils or infused sea salt? No, says I. Olivia Thomas, do they come in a set and how much? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Olivia. I might. I mean, time has passed, so I'm not sure what you mean. I made your sticky chicken one time so far, and had I not ate some chicken while I was cooking, I wouldn't have had much for me to plate. They pounded it before I had a chance. <laughs> right on. <clears throat> Louisa says, whoa, Crispy, you're on a donation streak. <laughs> yeah, Crispy went uh, a little, little wild. Uh, Rogue Dog says, sorry, Ninja, sorry, man, I have to go, but I'll definitely be back next time. Well, thank you for being here, Rogue. Uh, Dustin Johnson says, man, them kids just showed up from nowhere. They know when it's ready by the smell drifting through the house. Yeah, that's true. You know what's crazy, uh, Dustin? Sometimes late at night, we finally get them to bed, and my wife and I try to enjoy a movie or something, and we'll pop some popcorn. <laughs> and, dude, they they are just, like, their nose is the greatest sense they have on their head because the second that starts popping, it's not from them hearing it. It's from them smelling it. And they come back to our room. Oh, we smell popcorn. Kate, Christine says, I swear I can smell those chops. Olivia says, can I have one pork chop? <laughs> Try some roasted garlic olive oil. You will thank me later. Ah, okay. That sounds good. Does the girls have a certain colored plate? My yes. kids go insane. Yes, they do. <clears throat> yeah, our kids go insane too. I, get your I used to live right down the road from Al Copeland, and I've been in his house and on his Popeye helicopter. It was awesome. Wow, Melody, that's awesome. Does the missus ever cook? Yes, she does. From time to time, she'll get she'll get at it. She'll throw it down. I'll be over in a few minutes. This looks good. <laughs> Sean T. Looks delicious as always. Love your recipes. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Randy. 
Jeremy Blanchard said, on our way from across the street. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. My kids stay upstairs. I'll wait for them to go up and pop a bag of popcorn, also myself, and they come right back downstairs screaming popcorn. Yeah, they know. They know. <laughs> All right, ladies. I know, and guess what? The whole world's hearing you say it now. <clears throat> I wanted to tell you these red beans are absolutely amazing. I kept everything the same in your recipe. Just added the ham hock. Definitely purchase in your cookbook. Well, Deshaun Gabriel, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, Tim O'Leary. Tim! Tim! <laughs> Man, you've, uh, you, you guys are tapping into our... Uh... Tim, thanks for letting us enjoy this time with you. Keeps our minds off what's going on. Keep it up. Well, Tim, look, it's the least I can do, Tim, you know? And, and, and look, you don't have to do that for me to do this, all right? I'll let you guys know. I will gladly do this again with no super chats whatsoever. You know, this is, this is, this is fun for me. Like to interact with you guys is awesome. Tim, you know, Tim, Crispy, I mean, Henry Ford. Uh, there was a few people earlier. I mean, just thank you guys. But like beyond that, thank the rest of you. Josh Becker, you know, um, only one, yeah. Drake, my little buddy, you know, Louisa, Olivia, Dustin, man, thank you all. I appreciate all you guys, but man, thank you, Tim. Look, I, <clears throat> it, you know, it means a lot just to have you guys here, so thank you, but you don't have to do that, but thank you. Cool. Well, let me, let me fix a plate and, and get out of here before you guys get really crazy, you know. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> Let me get the fine china. <clears throat> this is my gravy, my beautiful gravy. Look at that, huh? Doesn't that look good? Oh man, that's good. Gosh, this is good. Okay, so fix my rice. My kids are silent now because they're eating. Is it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not good. It's awesome. I don't love it. I don't like it. I love it. Oh, you mess it up. Your favorite saying. Yeah, she loves saying that. Guys, I want y'all to see something real quick. See that gumbo picks his spot down here, and now Hazel's trying to come. <laughs> and he does not like it. He's growling because she's walking up on his territory. He stands right there because he knows sometimes I drop food. <clears throat> I need lots of gravy, ladies and gentlemen. I love the gravy. And all those little tiny onions on there. OMG. That is me. Okay. And that pork chop here. Oh my gosh, my pork chop's falling apart. Look how good that looks. Ooh, that's good. The corn is awesome. Corn is good. That's one of our favorites. We love corn. I'm in love with the corn. <clears throat> My allergies have been kicking up. And there is my plate, ladies and gentlemen. I will take this over to the table. I made the rice good? Yeah. <laughs> they chowing down. They are chowing down. All right. Let's go ahead and flip this up. <clears throat> Get a fork. Gumbo is growling. Gumbo is growling. This is my wife's table set up. Little bunnies. Easter bunnies. She likes them. 
And we also keep this at the table right here. Blessed. i never forget it. Always consider yourself blessed. All right. See if I can uh, adjust this accordingly. I might have to get down low. All right, then back this up a little bit, maybe. Back this up a little bit. And I could probably pull it up a little bit too. There we go. That might be helpful. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We officially cooked live. And as you guys can see, it is time consuming. You know, all the, all the people that uh, chime into my videos that say, oh, you take forever, yada, yada. I'm like, it's not something that you just do quickly, you know? So, hey, CJ from Doosan, how you doing? I'm so pumped. I'm, my mouth is watering. Um, you know, once again, shout out to Crispy and um, let me make sure I get that right. Tom Leary, I believe. Was that what it is? Tim O'Leary. Tim O'Leary. Man, I cannot believe that. Tim O'Leary. Gosh. Tim O'Leary, Crispy, Henry Ford, you know, my buddy Drake, Louisa, all you guys. Josh Becker, who's been here. Dustin Johnson, uh, Melody, um, you know. You can cook live anytime. I'm hooked. <laughs> this has been fun, man. This is really cool. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a cool part, you know, um, to do on YouTube. But here's some rice and gravy. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and take the first. Oh, my wife's not going to be happy. A little Mmm. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That is good. And that is made with fire seasoning. I did make a mess on my wife's beautiful table. Let me tell you, she loves this table. So. Fire seasoning. Thank you, dear. Um, ah. It's so good, but it's hot. Mmm. The rice, Daddy is. I'm killing the rice. You killing the rice? Let me tell you, these pork chops. I don't know if y'all saw that. I just cut the pork chop with the fork. Mm. Mm. Super tender. <laughs> Why don't you come show everybody? Come, come stay right here. <laughs> yeah, Bella's going to show you what Zoe was doing. Oh, no, Zoe's going to show. <laughs> they enjoying the pork chop so much, it's causing them to do that. What the what? Peace. I'm jealous I want some. Man, I had to eat Dairy Queen. <laughs> oh, Dairy Queen's good. I like Dairy Queen. Yeah, we no longer have Dairy Queen. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at that just come apart. See that? Ah, and let me tell you, the bone-in pork chops matter when you do this. If you get boneless pork chops, it's gonna be a little bit dry. It won't hold as much uh, moistness. Is moistness a word? If not, uh, it, is, it is now. So look, my favorite thing is some corn, some rice, some gravy, and some meat. That is my favorite bite right there. Mm. Mmm. This is good. Let me pull it in close. Oh, God. Good Lord. My apologies, guys. You can see we are really live right now because I can't fake that. Furthermore, I can't fake the fact that my stand just broke. <laughs> I have no, I no longer have a stand here. Can I put that in? I kind of put that in. All right, that's maybe kind of. Okay, look, you can get a good look here. That is my plate. Beautiful gravy, rice, corn. That is that is just a Louisiana delicacy right here. Gravy, rice, corn. Big boy says, "Oh my gosh, dude." Okay, this might be a sign. <laughs> All right, let me answer a few more, of you guys. Um, Big Boy says, please keep doing live. My wife and I really enjoyed it. I will try. Uh, uh, Lacey's World says, 
falling off the bone. Just like my phone, you know, um, these pork chops are falling just like my phone. Try to put this right back up if I can. Boy, ugh, there we go. I need another one of these, that's what it is. Yeah, that's not gonna stay. Okay, oh goodness. All right, all right. All right, let me, uh, let me go ahead and just uh, enjoy you guys here for a second. I'll flip it, I can't flip it that way. I'm saying it's so good the camera was trying to get some. <laughs> you're right, um, you're right. Phone wanted to taste it too. Sean T says the same thing. Drake says, rest in peace, Cajun Ninja's camera stand. You're right, uh, it, it is kaput, I need a new one. I'll probably look for one online. Um, <laughs> well, you can buy a new stand with Crispy's donation. Yeah, Drake, I, I am very, look, you're absolutely right. Thank you, Crispy. Thank you, Tim O'Leary, Henry Ford, the people who have contributed because I now will have to get on Amazon and buy new equipment. As you can see, I am, uh, I, I am just hanging on here. I mean, look at this thing. You can see the, 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 uh, the like, whatever that holds this on there is like torn off, you know, that little bit of rubber. You know, I've been hanging on this one for a little bit and it's time to upgrade and uh, I will be thankful. I'll be happy to do that with, with uh, Crispy, Tim O'Leary, you guys uh, who have contributed. It means a lot. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, I had to pay $9 for my local Cajun drive through joint for the same meal you just made. Well, Mama Bear, I hope it was amazing. This live thing is great. Can't wait for the next one. Well, thank you, Katie, for being here. Well, thank you guys all for being here. This has been amazing. I'm going to enjoy this food right here uh, because it's time to eat. My camera, my camera work here is getting trash. Um, uh, I, you know, this was a lot of fun, guys. Fat Outdoors, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Razel, Raph, for what you do. Well, uh, thank you for being here. Later Gator, later Drake, my dude, Just Angel. This was really cool to watch. Well, look, thank you guys. I can't believe so many of you guys have stuck through this whole thing. Mama Bear, God works in ways we sometimes don't understand. Mama Bear, look, let me tell you, this is without a doubt true. I'm gonna give you guys just a fun little fact that's recently happened to me. Um, I totaled my vehicle. Um, got in a wreck on the interstate literally um, three weeks ago. Like, ran from behind, total loss. Like, could have been hurt really bad, completely walked away from it. Here we are, a couple weeks later, we're in a quarantine, we can't go anywhere. My vehicle was paid off because it was totaled, you know? And now I'm not sitting on that note, you know? So kick it up, you know, because like, we, we're, we're out of an income right now with, you know, the quarantine. Like my wife's salons are completely shut down. So, um, man, kick it up, dude. Like thing, things like that happen at, at the times that they happen are just wild, you know? And the, and the moment they happen, you're thinking, you're thinking the worst. You're thinking, how could this happen to me? But then like time goes by and you go, gosh, I'm so glad that happened. And that happens to me often. So uh, faith over fear is one thing I can say to you guys. If you, you know, if you're not somebody who, um, you know, is, is uh, you know, a person of faith, you know, what have you. This is not me trying to jam it down your throat by no means. Um, it's just what I believe and what works for me. Um, but I can say this, if things in your life are a struggle, maybe pray, you know? What could hurt, right? Don't always pray for the things you want, just pray for what you need. Um, and I just, for me, I need good health. I need my family. Um, good food. And I'm happy to uh, have you guys. Uh, if, if I could consider you all a need, it would be definitely worth it. So, but um, other than that, man, I don't have a whole lot. But uh, look, thank you guys all for tuning into this. And uh, hopefully I can do this again soon. This has been a lot of fun, a huge blessing. Uh, I'm grateful for, for those that, uh, you know, came in and, and, and threw down the hammer. Crispy, uh, Tim O'Leary, you guys are just wild. I mean, please, next time, do not touch that damn button, okay? I'm more than happy to do this for nothing. So, but uh, other than that, I got nothing else for you. I'm going to knock this out right here. going to crush this plate of food. Um, I wish you all good health. Stay safe out there. I'll see you soon.